Hello everybody, there's been a crazy night of Blood Bowl Super League tonight, so this one we'll have to look at as a replay. We've got Sol with his Skaven here with this stack wrestle strip, and he's won the toss, chosen a kick versus Hiru and his necromantic team. We can have a little look at the table here. You can see that Sol has won two, lost two, and Hiru has won one, lost three. So Hiru is unfortunately out, just playing for pride right now. Sol does have a very small chance if he wins this to, uh, you know, make a three or four way tie and maybe have a chance to qualify. So, in fact, Sol lost to Dimmy and Jimmy. So, if Sol wins and Tree beats Andy, then that'll be a three-way six-pointer that Sol will win. So if Dimmy draws against me, and Tree and Sol both win, then Sol will go through with six points. So all to play for for Sol. Hiru's just going to be doing his best, um, as you kind of have to in the situation when you can't qualify, right? Like it's unfair to everybody else if you just don't care and, and lose. So, uh, Hiro will be playing his best, even though he can't qualify. Um, oh my god, instant cars, that's pretty good. So yeah, it's still, still, it's still not over. It's not over for Sol, if he can get this win. But even a draw will, a draw will definitely not be good enough, because Andy and Dimmy both have six points already. But because he's lost versus Dimmy, he cannot finish above Dimmy now. So. You know, it's not just the it's not just the playoff implications, is it? It's like good to have a good quality game versus somebody else. Um his absolutely standard Necro one point package Euroball team. Traded the Eighth skill for extra money, three block, four guard. Completely, this is like the most standard team you could get, I think. Whereas Sol's gone for the one point package to stack and a tackle blitzer, which is a bit unusual. Of course, the leader and stuff. Is Elliot in the booth? I mean, are you asking Elliot if he's in the booth? If you were asking Elliot if he's in the booth, what he'd probably say is, um... I am here. <laughs> that's, probably, that's probably what he'd say. <laughs> there you go, he typed it as well. <laughs> oh, another Kaz! <laughs> oh my god, and it's the tackle or something <laughs> That's the tackle, is that me? <laughs> Genuinely, it's easily the best commentary is Elliot. This is the consistency, that's what makes it so good. You know. Oh my god, another Kaz! What a dice lord hero is. Well, Sol's equity decreasing. Sent off, but... Oh god, this is like it was three to two, wasn't it? Anyway. Dead, dead, dead. Equi equity rising. Oh no, regen. But still, good for the drive. He wasn't so deep in his half, but he does got to stall it out, hasn't he? to reconnect everybody. Interesting not blitzing. Oh, we can blitz with this wolf. But he should have uh, like just made the ball fully safe first, right? Like, as in just move it there. And then, you know, like just make a cage here. 
that the ball was in first before you do that blitz. They're just both dicing each other, aren't they? It's crazy. Um, a send off and a Kaz for Hiru, and three Kaz for the rat bastard. So. That's perfect, isn't it? A big blob. Is it? Is it in the right square? Can he get him? I guess not, because he put him there anyway. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, GF. <laughs> is he going to go for anywhere? He can do it. Oh, he just goes in. He just goes in the middle. And gets the strip. Oh my god, he's got one gutter left. Oh, he's caught it anywhere. And he's basically screened off this guy. <laughs> and then caught it on him. <laughs> but that wasn't great, was it, from uh, Hiru, like, allowing that 5-plus dodge in? He could have made it, like, a big cage cage. Yeah, it wasn't a great ball carrier position by Hiru. It was in Chunt's column, and it wasn't in loads of tackle zones. So... As funny as the as the scatter and the throwing was and everything, it was bad ball placement. He had no pressure on him at all. No reason to go there at all. He could have been here in a H cage or anything. That was very uh That was very bad. Sorry, I was just talking about how bad Hiru played the previous turn. I didn't notice the quad skulls. this was this is shit. Right? No offence to Hiru. He's better than this. It, this this is shit. You don't put him in... You don't... Because I'm still obsessed by this. How do you do this? You can put these squares in any... You can put... He's got three... He's got six players. Seven players he can put in any square he wants. Any squares he wants. And he chooses Chunt's column. And he just doesn't guard him. Like, it's crazy. Like... He's right here, he's just scaven. He could have run all the way around as well, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, maybe he's not. Pretty hard to grow all the way around. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, GFI, GFI. That's not that's not hard at all, is it? That's three threes. Like it's really easy to, to hit him to like, you know, if you don't want to put it in the crowd. Just to get it out, but this is better to get it in the crowd anyway, this is way better. And that's just a 5+. plus. That's just a 5+. plus. I mean, okay, it's not super likely, but you could be in here and you could have just put all the players in the better. So I was obsessed by it. This was shit from Hiru. Again, no offence. And you've seen why it was shit. He could have put them in any squares. He's got loads of guard. He's got loads of tackle zones. And... Yeah, it's that's too high, isn't it? It's 3 and 16, more or less. It's too high. There's no need for it when you've got all these players to do whatever you like with. So, that was bad. Then we've got Sol's turn of, you know, success. Right, and then back to Hiru. So he doesn't do safe moves first, and he re-rolls that into quad skulls. So we used two re-rolls and failed. Okay, so that was very unlucky. So I did gloss over that because I was still still talking. But he could have done stuff like safe, some safe moves first, right? Um, and I guess he had to re-roll the first one so he could free this one up. But like, I guess this ghoul's going to come back here and this ghoul's going to come here to get this block. So, you know, could have done that first, right? Could have, could have moved those players first. Um, and then I guess this guy was going to come around. And then he was going to surf. Uh, not surf, blitz and get it back. So, you know, not not great. You know, very unlucky there. Very unlucky there by Hiru. But, you know, could have uh, could have just done some safe moves, right? Could have stood up that zombie um, and moved him. So he could have done some safe moves. And, and that's the thing, right? Like... Last game we saw Olivier and Kfog not make safe moves all the time, right? And then not get punished. And then this time we saw the quads. And there was a full punish. But it was the previous turn. 
by Hiru. He had to. He had to have played that turn better. No. The, putting it in this column is way too dangerous versus rats. For, not for no reason, right? Like that was the thing. Sometimes you have to, right? If it's the only place you can go, it's the only place you can go. But he had all these players free. He could have made any formation he wanted, and uh, it was a it was a five plus dodge and not a six plus, and it was pushing him next to the crowd. So yeah, it was. The takeaway was, um, even though it was a very ratty move by Sol, it was you know completely unforced um, error from Hiru. Yeah. Yeah, is blue, I would say Blood Bowl three is worth it now. Yeah, if if you use a if you use an auto clicker to relieve the pain of how hard it is to actually use the interface, then yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funny thing, isn't it, with rats? Like it's. It is, it is always so, like the wrestle strip, it is always so easy for him to get the ball, isn't it? It's, it's a funny thing. Because, I mean, I would have gone for the Olivier slash K-Fog build, right? But, um, you know, there's a lot to be said for the, the super player, the sole super player. <laughs> Probably corn, right? Corn are the are the favourites to be next, just based on like release order of the extra teams. And yeah, it probably won't be snots and ogres. I'd imagine snots and ogres would. Well, I'd hope snots and ogres would be in the same like release. Oh my god, dub schools again! <laughs> oh my goodness. So so far, Hiru's got a one in nine. Rerolled into pushes, into quad skulls, and then it follows it up with another dub skulls. Brilliant. Um, 1k TV corn rosters do indeed look awful. Yes, yeah, they're not good. They're not good. Um, if I wasn't casting this game, I'd send you a link. But they're not good. I'll show you afterwards. I'll show you afterwards what it, what it looks like. It probably is what Helen has said, yeah. But, um, yeah, pro probably corn, just because I'd imagine they'd follow order of release on tabletop. Just gives them more time to get, like, all the assets in, doesn't it? Yeah, Congo's pretty good, yeah. Is it 70k for a beastman with jugs, right? Is that right? It's a great player. That really is a great player, yeah. But Bloodseekers are shit. <laughs> and Corn Liners are shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously Saul's just gonna burn the clock for another turn. <laughs> Rather relying on a uh, this 2 plus and this 2 plus, it gets them both. Oh my god. Another Kaz? Yes, Jagan, yeah, the, the new the new star all he's good for is getting you rotters, I think. Pretty garbage. Pretty garbage. Yeah, I imagine he is, yeah. Which is fair enough. Like, he's got nothing to play for. Like, I was pretty tilted versus Dave, right? Like, 
I had barely any chance and then the dice didn't cooperate so I was moany and sad and everything. And you know, Hiru's, Hiru's out, whatever happens, you know, he's got nothing to play for. So. Probably thinking about that ball sack and thinking it was stupid odds, but at the end of the day, he, he, there was really no need for him to have, uh, to have done that. He allowed the ball sack, he did. Oh, I wouldn't say that's Bleggy. <laughs> All I think about is ball sacks. <laughs> well, I I rarely think about ball sacks, but I know Sol is completely, completely uh, obsessed by them, right? As are all Skaven players. So is Sol just going for the uh, quick score here and then kill the game at 2-0, I guess is the plan. Blessed statue of Nuffle. He gets a pro gutter run. So yeah, Hiru's done the rule of five versus rats that are willing to score quickly. So... Sol says thank you very much. I will score quickly. Doesn't bother moving the right auger yet. Uh, the cut run it yet. But was never blitzing with the roger. That was always allowed. So yeah, just a completely free, nearly completely free cage. No pressure on it. Auto two turn. Not an auto two turn, but as close to an auto two turn as you can reasonably get. Was was the was the was your build the necro or the rats? Spluggy. I'm a little bit sad that I didn't think about going to Athens this year. I'm considering Hungary next year. Yes, the rat ogres, rat ogres do punch their own rat friends. This was a good, this is actually a really good turn from Hiru, by the way. He gets a lot of stuff in the way, doesn't he? A lot of stuff in the way. Oh my god, he's got to he's got to eat his own rat ogre, which he, his own. Oh my god, I keep calling gut runners rat ogres. Reliable rat ogre. Can the necromantic keep up? Oh with the lateral movement. Maybe. It's not too bad for them. I mean, wolves are very fast as well, aren't they? So maybe they can keep up with this. Another cars! Oh my god. Oh my god. Five cars. So you can blitz the roger or you can blitz one of the gutters. Whichever way, though, you're going to jam the sidestepper right in front of him, right? Maybe, maybe blitz the roger out that way and then put in two in front of him. I think I like blitzing the roger here. Number one, because I don't have to GFI. <laughs> so he was unlucky, he was unlucky, but I really prefer just like jamming in like, you know, the two wraiths in front. Blitz out the roger and back so we can't use him to hit with him, to, to clear them. 
or to clear anything. Are you, even this guy, one, two, three, four. The fleshy could come in. You could have a fleshy and a wraith in. Uh, so yeah, like blitzing this guy was, you know, okay. It's, it's, he's a really good player. You want to get rid of him, but yeah, the GFI was too much, right? You could have could have two D into two D on the on the rogue, and then put stuff around. I think was better. It's in free, very good. And now this is uh, very hard for Hiru to stop. He's going to have to 6 plus in with a ghoul. He gets tagged. Or he could go for the wolf surf, right? He could go for the wolf surf. That's not terrible, honestly. It's not terrible going for the wolf surf. This wolf can can stop these assists. And then he can go for the six plus in and surf. It's probably the best play. Won't exactly be happy about having to do it, but... Okay, well, I don't like this. This just doesn't do enough, right? The problem with this is it doesn't do enough. Yeah, okay, my player needed a 6 plus dodge in. But that's 30%. And if it works, you can surf the you can surf the gutter. And then you've got most of a team to react. You can may maybe make it 1-1. One, one. So... And look, maybe here it would if this was like the playoffs or whatever, right? But he's already lost, so... He's probably autopiloting through this and not having a go at him, but you know, I think that the, the uh, analysis is is valid, even if uh, you know, even if there's nothing there's nothing there for Hiru people people watching. Oh yeah, that would have been. Uh... Right, so there you go. Two minutes over. Well done, Sol. I mean, almost over. Not completely over. Five players. If there's another three, it gets tricky. You can score in two turns. It's not completely over. <laughs> Very good, Dimmy. Who has the biggest penis in the ocean? Is it a blue whale or is it like a sperm whale? Oh my god, that's Hiru's last reroll gone. Oh, hey. I mean, you'd imagine it'd be a blue whale, wouldn't you, just because it's the biggest. But, like, they're different species, aren't they, other whales? Like, even though they're all the same family, won't some have bigger wangs than others? Couldn't they have widely disproportionate ones? Maybe. I don't know anything about whale penises. I'll be honest. <laughs> Not an expert on whale, whale penis. <laughs> oh yeah, the duck. It's mental as well, isn't it? It's got like a corkscrew. A corkscrew penis, the duck, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, yeah, because it's like sexual selection and stuff, isn't it? So they don't... And like number of partners and all this kind of stuff. So gorillas don't need massive wangs, so they don't have them. <laughs> Got big balls, though, haven't they, I think? Or maybe that's chimps, I don't know. Some Something's got big balls. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, Pendo. Yep. <laughs> it's the same kind of animal, isn't it? But, like, dogs are all the same kind of animal. But, like, you'd imagine that certain kinds of dogs have got different proportional penises. <laughs> it would be weird if, like, the biggest 
they didn't have the biggest, but they don't necessarily have to, do they? <laughs> yeah, gorillas, for example. Oh. So you can score on turn 14. But... <laughs> Now, Hiru, <laughs> I'd like to say you learned your lesson. <laughs> but uh, he is here. This could go in the crowd again. Let's find out. Mm, there we go. Yeah, and plus there's just, there's just variation individual as well, isn't there? But there is. Different breeds surely have different things. It's in the crowd again. <laughs> oh, it's in there. Oh. Yeah. And he traps the this one, but not this one. This one can get some. And he kind of has to because he has to score this turn, right? Hiru has to score this turn, so he has to score on this wolf. So he absolutely has to dodge out with this Wraith and blitz him. To be fair, he can blitz him up and then block him again. Ah, so he's getting Fair enough. Fair enough. Red dice then blitz. The problem with the red dicing is either he's then only got one shot of the ball, right? Whereas if he dodges here, he can punch him there and then hit him again. So I don't know which is better, honestly. I, I'll be honest with you, I didn't really think about not having a re-roll. I didn't really think about not having the re-roll. So yeah, with not having the re-roll... But it's 33 instead of 30, isn't it? So it's not much different. So it's probably worth it to get the follow-up. Mm. He's got a fucking tail. I'm an idiot. Yeah, so with the tail and the lack of reroll, yeah, uphill, and then just hope you pal. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough, Hiru. Yeah, no, I'd, I was the same versus Andy, right? Like, it's, you know, it's not. But I'm just saying it for the benefit of folks at home. You know, the uphill was better because it's it's 50 versus 70, and you are losing the follow up. But m maybe you know, if he didn't have a tail, the dodge is better, 100%. Um, with a re-roll, maybe it's still the uphill. I suppose. Barnacles, wow. Yeah, yeah, it is slightly less lesser odds, isn't it? Thirty three for thirty three point three versus thirty, but Yeah, I mean this is this is fair, but this is it sucks in these kind of situations. I've literally been there last game. So. Oh. Dodges through. Hands off. And 3 0. <laughs> Which is fair enough, because it could definitely come down to goal difference for Sol. So, um, completely the correct thing to do there. So, like, you know, again, it's not it's not a critique of Hiru's play. It's a critique of the kind of the optimal play, if you prefer. And right, so there you go. Congratulations, Sol. Great result. That puts him on three wins and two losses, which puts him level at the moment with Andy and Dimmy. 
which makes things super interesting for qualification. Um, right, I'll, I'll update the table here. So, as it so now that's a three-way tie, right? And the 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 head-to-head -head is Dimmy's wins the head-to-head -head versus Andy, but loses it to Sol. So because I'll wait, I'll wait until this here. I've just got to edit. I've just got to edit it. Bear with me. I'll let you see the table while I'm talking about it. The problem is just having to fill fill the air when I'm on my own. Editing a table <laughs> isn't great, is it? Anyway, it was a good game. Um, but yeah, I sympathise for the people who have to play the last game when it doesn't count because I hated my last game versus Andy where you know I had to win and it was just it was just horrible. Um, basically, being out. And having to play out this game that uh, you know sucked. So um, I'm completely sympathise. Right, I can show you the table now. So this is what the table looks now. Now, now Sol is top, right? Because it goes down to touchdown difference. Because Sol has won. Versus Andy, but lost versus Dimmy. Andy has won versus Dimmy, but lost versus Saul. And Dimmy beat Saul, but lost to Andy. So that is a three way tie on head to head. And then it comes out a touchdown difference, of which at the moment, Saul is the winner of. Um, we've got Dimmy versus Jimmy to come, which, you know. I'd fancy Dimmy to at least get a draw there, honestly, and then and just win the group outright. But then Andy versus Tree, if Tree can win, then it will be a three-way tie between Sol, Andy, and Tree. And then Sol has beaten Andy and Tree, so Sol will go through. So that means it depends it depends on the Dimmy game, right? If I beat Dimmy. Then it'll be a four-way tie, and then I think it'll be just be pure touchdown difference. Then, so it's very interesting. But of course, Andy could just win, and Dimmy could just win, and then it'll be those two. Of course, Dimmy and Andy are the most favoured because their fate is in their hands. They could also just both draw and qualify. Both of them can just draw and qualify for sure. Both are a hundred percent guaranteed qualification if they just draw. Um, Dimmy has beaten Sol and has beaten Tree, so, yeah. Um, if Andy wins, so if Andy wins, then Andy will be on eight, and then, which will get him first, and then if Dimmy loses at that in that situation, then yes, it'll, because then it won't matter if, it, if uh, well, Tree will be on four, but Dimmy has already beaten Sol, so yes. If Andy wins, you go through whatever happens. Yes, to me. In fact, if Andy draws, you both go through. You, yeah, you you just need Andy to win or draw, and then then it's Andy and Dimmy. But if Tree beats Andy, then it's at least a three-way tie, and it could be a four-way tie. So um, it's all to play for. It's very exciting, and uh, there you go. Thanks for watching everybody, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.